never a good sign when the crux of your argument is this might offend white males. Um, they try to tell us that, well rather what we say, so let's just start, what is the notion of the white Jesus? Maybe this gets lost in translation because Japan isn't a majority Christian country. But the notion of the white Jesus is the belief among most Christians in the world that Jesus was racially white. Where most of the depictions they see in their churches, in their religious communities, is of a racially white Jesus across the globe. And that even if you ask an African or South American, what race is Jesus Christ? They'll say white, and you say draw a picture of Jesus Christ, they'll draw a white person. That's the notion of a white Jesus, right? What we want is a plethora of Jesuses where no one can say Jesus was this single race, right? What they say is Jesus was a great teacher who had a great philosophy of being kind to the poor and supporting our neighbors, right? That's the kind of idea of Jesus that we want in the future. So this really comes up to two things, religious experience and benefits for, for believers, right? First, let's ask the question, what they're trying to tell us, that does fix like, does having a fixed Jesus' identity, is that necessary for the religious experience of being Christian, right? And we hear many counterexamples to this, I'll tell you that it's not, right? The, the, the fact that in many religions, the, the founder of the religion does not have a fixed physical or racial identity, right? We take the example of Buddha, there are Chinese Buddhists, there are Southeast Asian Buddhists, and there are Indian Buddhists. Yet somehow, um, Buddhists seem to be able to identify with Buddha and identify with the Buddhist faith, right? Likewise, uh, Muslim people do not depict their prophet, yet they're still able to identify him in a very deep and fundamental way and have a deep religious experience, right? So we don't think that having this fixed identity is necessarily essential for having a deep religious experience as a tribal house. But furthermore, we think that this opens up religious experience, because under their model, right, White people are far more easily able to identify with the Christ than are people of other races, right? And we think that this isn't fair. This is a deep imbalance in the accessibility of Christian experience to people across the globe, right? We want everyone to have an equal ability to identify and access the Christian faith by being able to, like, not be alienated by the fact that Jesus looks completely different from you and completely different from everyone around you. They try to tell us that, oh, we're going to have black Jesuses in Africa and Asian Jesuses in Asia, but they ignore the fact, and what we tried to tell you in the very beginning, they just didn't even understand, and what my entire extension was about is that, like, a lot of these Jesuses look like are dictated by decision-making authorities that are largely made up of white males. Like, you can't have a giant painting of Jesus unless the Vatican gives you some cash to get that painting. You can't have a sculpture of Jesus unless the Vatican gives you some cash to get that painting. And if the Vatican, like, or they give, if the Vatican gives you a statue of a white Jesus, now that's what Jesus looks like in your community. You don't necessarily have that freedom because of the power of these decision-making authorities. And what I brought in my extension, which was never even once mentioned, again in the debate, by any debater on that side, is that we can break this structural bias in the religious decision-making authorities by changing the perception that the leaders need to be white because their prophet was white, right? And they just, they never even dealt with it even one time and even one word. Why? Just deal with my points, people. Okay? That benefits because they said this is going to create racist backlash, okay? So yeah, maybe the KKK is going to be mad that now there's a black Jesus, right? That's possible. The KKK might be pissed. We said that most people probably aren't going to go out into the street, start beating blacks, because suddenly the prophet of kindness, tenderness, and care for others that you worship is black. Right? What we say is gradually, over time, people will just forget that they ever had these racial identifiers with Christ. Right? And that it'll open up the experience to all sorts of people. But more importantly, it'll take away the racist narratives that persist across generations. That because Jesus was white, whites are superior to other races. And they're never able to effectively deal with that point. And this will take away the power of people like the Ku Klux Klan or even more moderate racists to justify to themselves their own racist beliefs using racist <coughs> justifications, which has always been a way that racists have justified that to themselves. And so for all of these reasons, we are very, very proud to propose. I have to thank all of the speakers. Please cross the floor, shake hands, and we'll see you all back at the auditorium.